I am not an expert. The views and opinions expressed in this video are based on my own beliefs and experiences for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as advice. Proceed at your own risk, not intended for children. Hey everybody, welcome back. Mm -mm. Hey there lovely humans, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Amy. This is The Shadowed Path, and on this channel, we talk about witchcraft and sorcery and whatever I feel like talking about at the time. I don't know how the audio is gonna do today. Let's just see, shall we? I've been really wanting a scrying mirror for a while, and now I've decided to... I think I'm crooked. I know I'm not straight, but I think I'm definitely crooked. I have been wanting a scrying mirror for a while, and so I've decided that I'm going to make my own. I got this idea from the ch this channel that I absolutely love, and I cannot pronounce this witch's name, so I'm going to put it on the screen. Hey, editing Amy here. Her name is Shifra, and her channel on YouTube is Shifra's Magic Alcove. You should totally check it out, because she's awesome. And I will link her channel down below. She did a live with her partner at some point and they mentioned that you can make your own scrying mirror if you don't want to buy a super expensive one and so I've decided to make my own scrying mirror so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna show you how I do it <laughs> okay I have all the things that I need now <laughs> I'm upsetting my puppies <laughs> um I know these are not my prettiest videos but here we are I have a round picture frame, eight inches in diameter. I got this from Target. I'm sure that there are much cheaper places to get them from. I have a rune book for reference, an assortment of paint brushes and a thing to dry them on, water, chamomile tea, paints. So you need black paint for sure. I'm including silver paint and red paint potentially to do some runes and protective seals and things on the back of it but you definitely need black acrylic this is just regular acrylic paint or black chalk paint or whatever will stick to the back of this glass okay you get the picture frame out you take out the back of the picture frame so this this part the backing here oh look foam and the fake picture set that aside and then this is just a lens cleaning cloth i'm gonna wipe this I'm gonna wipe oops nope leave the glass in the frame like i just almost didn't do there's a sticker on the front that i need to get off Okay, sticker. I'm just gonna make sure there's no dirt or dust or anything hanging out in. Oh, I really hope the sound for this isn't completely f***ed up. Okay, just wanna make sure there aren't any major smudges or anything dirty on this side because this is the side that we're gonna paint. So I have the picture frame and I'm putting it face down and I'm going to paint the back of the glass I think I'm just gonna squeeze the paint right on there because it needs to be pretty black. Hmm. I think I'll use this brush. So anyway, I got the idea for this, like I said, from one of the live Q and A's that another witch and her partner did recently. It really struck me because I've been wanting a scrying mirror for a while. I had one and I left it in Oregon when I moved here and I have missed it. And every time I think about getting another one, it just doesn't work out for some reason. Then it, it came to me that maybe this is why. Um, and when I thought about it, I thought, I feel okay about doing that. And I'll probably do a video at some point about how I choose my magical tools if y'all would be interested in that. But 
for right now, I'll just say that I choose my tools intuitively. I don't know if that's really a whole video, but I will tell you, I choose my, my magical tools intuitively. So what that means is that I kind of let them choose me. I let them speak to me. I let them speak out to me. I let them tell me if we belong together. I see how they feel. I like to see how the energy feels, if it meshes, or if I hear a resounding like no or yes, or if I just can't stop thinking about the tool. And all of those things tell me in the end if it's the tool for me. So I'm just lifting this up a little bit so I can see if any of the paint is transparent so I can paint over it and just smooth that. You want it to be really, really black. Which I didn't really think thoroughly about. So I'm probably gonna let this first coat dry. I will come back and do the next coat. So I don't think this is all the way dry, but let's just see if there are any holes in the blackness, a little bit. Just wanna make sure that that is fully opaque. Ew, got a little goopy bit. I'll take care of that. And I'm just going to paint over the parts that look like they aren't as opaque as I would like them to be. I don't want any light shining through the back of this. Yeah, that looks really nice. Okay, now that I've got the black done, I'm going to paint, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm going to put a little bit of my own elixir on the back. Hey folks, this is editing Amy again. I just wanted to issue a trigger warning. I do use my own in my spell work. I've cut that part of the process to avoid possible triggers and demonetization. For those of you who don't know, I am a sorcerer, and when I say elixir, I mean Now I'm going to use a little bit of red. This is crimson red. And a little bit of silver. This is metallic. These are the same acrylic paints as the black acrylic paint. It's just the Arteza, Arteza, Arteza color acrylics. Okay, now I'm going to paint some runes on the back. Let's see. Scrying mirrors are like gateways. So you wanna be able to communicate. You wanna be able to see clearly. You want things to be able to pass through with your permission. So let's see which runes would be good for that. Okay, I think the one I'm going to use on the back of this is Ansu's. Explore Your Destiny with Runes this is my rune book that I love. Not my rune book, I didn't write it. There you go. And we are going to use Ansu's. Ansu's is associated with the spoken word. Since the Northern Europeans were schooled in the oral tradition, for example, an elder passing on stories to an apprentice, it also means acquired wisdom. The taking of advice is yet another application of Ansu's. That is perfect. Perfect for a scrying mirror. I'm gonna paint Ansu's on the back of this mirror in red. Try really carefully not to disrupt the opaqueness of the black paint. Scrying mirrors need to be a very clear, flat surface that is shiny that you can see a reflection in. So it's really important that the paint that I'm adding to the black on the back does not show through the front. I don't want to see symbols or wavy lines or anything of the such because I don't want any of this to impact or to disrupt my scrying surface. Ah, 
Okay, looks like I need a little bit more black. And that is okay. As long as the symbol is here, it doesn't have to necessarily be super clear for it to be here. It's the power is in the symbol itself, not in how visible it is. Being a very sloppy artist right now, but what I care about is the end result. See, that's, whoop, don't want to drop that. That'll do. Okay. Now, I'm going to use just a little bit of silver to add some designs to the outer edge on the inside. I just feel like silver is a good move here. I feel like silver around the edge is going to help focus. I'm not really sure why, that's just how I feel. Like I'm truly creating a portal within this ring of paint. Hmm, okay. Almost the last thing. I'm also gonna put a little north-south, east and west on here in silver paint. Putting west on the right side instead of the left side because when I turn this over, it'll be on the correct side. Backward E. I didn't do my N and S backward, but this is perfect. Just drawing some compass points painting compass points with the silver paint. Okay, now the last thing that I'm going to do is empty a chamomile tea bag onto the paint, onto the back. Yay, another voiceover. According to learnreligions.com, Chamomile is known as an herb of purification and protection and can be used in incenses for sleep and meditation. It can help to ward against psychic or magical attack. In banishing rituals, some practitioners recommend you steep the flowers in hot water and use it to sprinkle around for a metaphysical barrier. It is also believed to keep negative energies away. Sprinkle the chamomile all over the back of the mirror so that its magic can really infuse itself into the mirror. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry fully and then I will show you the finished product. couple places where it needs black paint. So this is done. I also painted <laughs> I painted the inside of the back as well so we can make sure it's nice and black and then I'm gonna turn this so that in is facing up north. Put in there.
I, this is the finished mirror. You can still see some red and a smudge. I like cleaned off the glass surface. Um, you can still see a little bit of red here, which is sort of annoying, but it's going to be fine because what you really need is for this to be a shiny surface that you can use to scry. And that's what I have. So if anything, like learn from me and, you know, don't paint the colors on before the black paint is dry. That's really the mistake that I made. And if I need to start this over, I can. But you know what? <laughs> everything I do is not gonna be perfect. And by everything, I mean almost nothing. Almost nothing I do will be perfect. So probably nothing. I'm trying to think of something I do perfectly. Imperfectly me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what you want is this like shiny, dark, scryable surface. Honestly, you could probably do this with a color that's not black. I've never tried that and I don't want to because I like this. If you have another process you use for making this, you know, let me know. Look at that ring light. Mm -mm. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me today. I so appreciate, <laughs> I so appreciate you. Thank you so much to my patrons who support this channel and get basically nothing in return. If you found this content interesting or, <laughs> or you know, dumb or educational, please hit the like button or the dislike button, subscribe. And um, if you made it all the way through the end of the video, leave a little crystal ball emoji in the comments. I'm going to leave a pinned comment with the channel that I got this idea from. Don't know who they learned it from. This is probably one of those like, common knowledge kinds of things, but because I learned it from somebody else, like I kind of want to tell you who I learned it from. And let me know if you try this and if you have variations on it and how it goes for you. <laughs> Ooh, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye.